Channel 3 Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. And we start off right now at four with breaking news for you in our afternoon rush in the town of Brooklyn. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Mark Sidney. And I'm Aaron Connolly. One person sent to the hospital after he was shot by a state trooper during an eviction. Let's get right out to Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Kydash. She is live in that neighborhood with what we know so far. Luke. Let's give you a closer look at what we're seeing right now. Police are still blocking off Tiffany Street tonight. They were called to a home up the road there where the real scene is. We're being kept about a block away. Uh, they were here to help out with an eviction that went sideways. Police got here a little after 930 this morning when that tenant who was being evicted refused to leave. That's when police say he took out a knife and it was at that point a trooper shot him. Now that man was taken by Lifestar to a Massachusetts hospital. He had surgery. He's in stable condition right now. Nobody else was hurt. Now these types of incidents have been happening quite a few times in this neighborhood and people who live here say they're fed up. Well, I've grown up in this area for the past five years now. You know what I mean? Seeing stuff like this, honestly, you know, it isn't really too much of a surprise anymore. I'd say maybe like five, six years ago, this was a big deal and stuff like this happening was crazy, but now it's just, unfortunately, it's just the new normal. As far as the state trooper who shot that man goes, well, this case is being sent to the state inspector general's office. They will determine if that trooper goes on desk duty or what the next steps for that person will be. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News from five, at 5, hear more from the people who live in this neighborhood and why some are even considering moving after all this violence. We're live in Brooklyn tonight. Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Luke